Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boys and Grove, and today we're going to show you how to make a wheelbarrow plant stand. Let's get into it. For this project, I use two 6-inch cedar fence pickets. These pickets are not only cost-effective, but cedar is a natural repellent for insects and is less prone to rot outdoors. I used a scrap piece of 3 quarter inch plywood and a couple hold down clamps to make a tapering jig. I'll leave a link to the clamps in the description below. I used the tapering jig to cut an angle on both pieces that I will make the bottom of the wheelbarrow from and both of the side pieces. I used an angle gauge to find the angle of the bottom so I could cut the angle on the ends of the end piece and the two side pieces. The Lufkin tape measure makes a great tool for making a perfect circle. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. After all the pieces were cut, I sanded them all down. Cedar is pretty soft, so the sanding went pretty quick. Then I used my bench sander to smooth out the wheel and to form the wheelbarrow handles. I decided to use pocket holes to join the two bottom halves. And then I used glue and finish screws to assemble the rest. I used a 3 8 inch dowel for the axle because that's what I happen to have laying around.
Once the body was assembled, I used some blocks to level it so I could get a measurement for the back legs. After puttying the holes, I applied a couple coats of flat white paint. Then we set to work adding some graphics to the sides. I'll leave a link to the tracing paper we used in the description below. Alright, our wheelbarrow plant stand is finished and I'm really happy with the end result. This is a quick and easy woodworking project that you can knock out over the weekend. It makes for a great gift like this upcoming Mother's Day or you can batch a couple out for a craft sale. If you put a board on this end to close it off and put some felt paper inside then you can actually use it as a planter and it works great both indoors and outdoors. One of the mistakes I made with this project is that I made the hole in the wheel bigger than the diameter of the dowel that I used for the axle. In my mind, I was thinking that I wanted the wheel to spin real freely. I'm not really sure why, since this is a stationary object and there's no need for it to turn. Um, ended up making it too free so that it's really wobbly. So I ended up putting a little piece of wood in there to kind of wedge it tight, and then I'll probably end up adding some nails to just hold it stationary. Another thing that I thought of after looking at it when it was finished is that I would prefer the wheel to be a little thicker. So next time I'll probably make two wheels and laminate them together. And what do you think of these graphics? I think they came out really nice. Christina did a really good job with the lettering. Yours, you can do however you want. You don't need to add graphics. You don't even need to paint it. You could leave it natural wood or stain it something else. It's really up to you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. We have tons of projects just like this over on our channel, so make sure to head over there, check those out, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And we would love to hear what you thought of this project in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe and have a great day.